dear student welcome to epg patshala today i am presenting my lecture on the topic soil quality analysis soil analysis and its interpretation is an important management tool in assessing the need to apply nutrients in fertilizers and soil soil quality index can be used as an indicator of goodness of soil with regards to function and responses soil quality is an account of the ability of soil to provide ecosystem and society services through its capacity to perform its function and respond to external influence soil quality may also be defined as the soil capacity to function within natural or managed ecosystem boundaries and to sustain plant productivity while reducing soil degradation as soil quality is a complex functional concept and cannot be measured directly in the field or laboratory but can only be inferred from soil characteristics a range of soil parameters or indicators has been identified to estimate soil quality however soil quality is often related to the management goal and practices as well to soil characteristics thus ensures to maintain soil fertility the quality of a soil or its capacity to function is evaluated using inherent and dynamic soil properties these properties serves as indicator of soil function because it is difficult to measure function directly and observation may be subjective soil indicators are often divided into physical chemical and biological categories depending on how they affect soil function however these categories are not always clearly defined since a soil property or indicator can affect multiple of soil functions or categories the method for evaluating soil quality is designed fully flexible in order to link in with the evaluation of degradation threats based on the evaluation procedure three main indexes in the sustainable soil use domains are calculated such as our soil quality index soil threat index soil sustainability index first soil threat index uh, i would like to say it is to express the ability of soil to perform ecosystem and social services soil threat index to express level of risk on which the soil is exposed to degradation threat and for the soil sustainability index for the comparative measurement of soil quality across a gradient of stress or disturbances soil quality is evaluated to learn about the effect of management practices on soil functions the soil quality index was assessed so that the management goals are not only focused on the productivity which may result in soil degradation but also on environmental issues thus an appropriate soil quality index may have three component goals environment quality agronomic sustainability and socio economic viability the quality of soil or its capacity to function is evaluated using inherent and dynamic soil properties these properties serves as indicators of soil function because it is difficult to measure function directly and observations may be subjective inherent or use invariant soil properties changes very little or not at all with management inherent soil properties forms over thousands of years and results primarily from the soil forming factors such as our climate topography parent material biota and time significant changes in the dynamic soil properties can occur in a single year or growing season there are many dynamic soil properties several of which are subject of this information sheet series soil indicators are often divided into physical chemical and biological categories depending on how they affect soil function 
However, these categories are not always clearly defined since a soil property or indicator can affect multiple soil functions or categories. The concept of soil quality gives rise to more controversy than that of water or air quality. However, despite the difficulty in providing a definition, the maintenance of soil quality is critical for ensuring the sustainability of the environment and the biosphere. The method for evaluating soil quality is designed fully flexible in order to link it with evaluation of degradation threats. Based on the evaluation procedure, three main indexes in the sustainable soil use domains are calculated. Soil quality index to express the ability of soil to perform ecosystem and social services. Soil threat index to express the level of risk on which the soil is exposed to degradation threat. Soil sustainability index for the comparative measurement of soil quality across a gradient of stress or disturbance. Soil quality is evaluated to learn about the effect of management practices on soil function. Reason for evaluating soil quality falls into three categories. Awareness and education, first. Evaluation of practice effects and troubleshooting, second. And the third, evaluation of alternative practices. First, we will take awareness and education. The soil quality concept emphasizes an ecological approach to land management. Management action does not have simple single effect in complex system such as soil. Management has multiple effects both direct and indirect. For example, tillage is used to loosen soil surface, prepare the seed bed and control weeds and pads. But tillage can also break up soil structure, speed the decomposition and loose of organic matter, increase the threat of erosion, destroy the habitat of helpful organisms and cause compaction. Understanding the trade off that exists for the range of management options is a first step towards improved land management and public policy. Assessment as an educational tool includes one on one and field day use of in field testing tools. Next is evaluation of alternative practices. Beyond awareness and evaluating current practices, soil quality assessment method provide a framework for comparing management trade off and deciding which management option provides the greatest good whether for one's farming operation or at the watershed or regional scale. Third, evaluation of practice effects and troubleshooting. Soil quality is often referred to as soil health because of objectives similar to the monitoring and maintenance of human health. Doctors monitor health indicators and watch for irregularities or declines in status. The set of health indicators measured during a checkup is familiar to all of us. Temperature, pulse, blood pressure, heartbeat, urine samples, etc. Monitoring of these indicators may reveal potential problem even before painful symptoms occurs. The earlier problems are observed, the easier they are to treat. Soil quality measurement are also a way of investigating specific problems. Low productivity in a specific area, for example, may have several causes of which low nutrient status may only be one or indeed a symptoms of rather than a cause. Soil quality assessment are conducted by evaluating indicators like soil quality indicators. Indicators can be physical, chemical and biological properties, process or characteristics of soil. They can also be morphological or visual features of plants. Indicators are measures to monitor management induce changes in the soil. Different chemical indicators widely used are related to the respective basic functions they measures. Those basic functions include promoting biodiversity, activity and productivity, filtering, buffering, degrading and detoxifying organic and inorganic material, controlling the regulation and partition of water and solute flow, 
cycling carbon and nutrient, providing physical stability for plants and animals as well as providing support for structures associated with human habitat. And all these processes it has been explained in the figure given below. The chemical components and the properties of soil affect many reactions and processes occurring in the soil environment. For example, soil pH controls the solubility and mobility of heavy metals such as our aluminum, iron, manganese, copper, zinc and nutrients such as phosphorus. It also controls the toxicity of many heavy metals. It also affects percent saturation, soil buffering capacity, cation exchange capacity and also soil biological properties like microbial growth and diversity. Like physical and biological indicators, chemical indicators are sensitive to soil management and natural disturbances. Tillage practices may change the level of soil reactions as well as nitrate, phosphorus content. Continuous cultivation without the correction of pH by liming can lead to soil acidification. A continuous application of acidifying fertilizers such as ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulphate and elemental sulphur to alkaline soil lowers the soil pH values. Leguminous crops can slightly acidify the soil. Irrigation water with high amount of salt concentration can result in salinization. Soil biological indicators provide insight into the living components of the soil. The figure in the slide is showing the soil quality research which depends upon the soil performance provides motivation to change management systems. For example, first we have to take into account soil characteristics properties. According to the properties, soil processes has to be undertaken and with the soil processes, soil performance will be increased and once the soil performance is increased, the management is achieved. Similar to physical and chemical indicators, biological indicators have a relationship to soil functions and can evaluate soil functions to assess soil quality. These indicators are dynamic soil properties that are very sensitive to land management, natural disturbance and chemical contaminant. Doran and Steffley and Hirsch et al. 1997 suggested that an indicator regardless of its nature must fulfill the following criteria, be interpretable, correlate well with the ecosystem process, integrate soil, physical, chemical and biological pro properties and processes, be accessible to many users, be sensitive to changes. In addition, an indicator must have reproducibility, low temporal and spatial variability and simple sampling and analytical method. There are Myriads of organisms in the thin layer of the soil surface. They play a key role in the decomposition of organic matter, in nutrient recycling, soil pollutant degradation and the formation and stability of soil structure. To summarize my lecture, the importance of soil quality lies in achieving sustainable land use and management systems to balance productivity and environmental protection. Interest in the evolution of soil degradation, particularly the quality of soil resources has been increased as soil is critically important component of our earth's biosphere, functioning not only in the production of food and fiber, but also in maintenance of environmental quality. In normal conditions, the soil can maintain equilibrium by pedogenetic processes as we all know. However, this equilibrium is easily disturbed by many of our anthropogenic activities. For example, like our over agricultural practices, deforestation and overgrazing and such effects are mainly noticed mainly in the developing countries with poor technical and financial resource to manage our natural resources. In order to make sound decision regarding sustainable land use system, Knowledge of soil quality related to different land use scenarios is essential part. The purpose is to protect and improve long term agricultural productivity, 
water quality and habitats of all organisms including pupil by assessing soil quality. A land manager will be able to determine if a set of management practices is sustainable or not. Soil quality is estimated by observing or measuring several different properties or processes. No single property can be used to ensure as an index of soil quality. The important of soil quality lies in achieving sustainable land use and management systems to balance productivity and for our environmental protection. Thank you.